She's a compelling witness telling her story of terror. The defense didn't even dispute her account, yet they did score a point when they got her to use the word crazy to describe Richard Shankman. Nancy Tyler was composed in recounting the hours she says she was held at gunpoint by her ex-husband. He said, you better take me seriously, and he picked up the gun and he shot it um, right across the front of me. Richard Shankman sitting quietly as the jury hears her story of what happened in July 2007 in the South Windsor home they used to share. She says he told her the house was loaded with explosives, booby trapped, and he'd been planning the showdown for months. Tyler's so scared, she agrees to remarry Shankman in an attempt to save her own life. As police surround the house, she hears him demand a priest. The priest has to marry us, and you need last rites. And I said, why do I need last rites if you're going to let me go? I said, you deserve last rites. You're going to need them. Handcuffed in the basement, she says she saw a chance to escape. An hour later, the house went up in flames and Shankman surrendered. She remembers the moment she knew it was over. And I started climbing up the chain link fence and all of a sudden there was a SWAT officer there. And he grabbed me and he said, come with me. The defense did not challenge her story, but because Shankman is going with an insanity defense, may have gained some ground in getting Tyler to admit she described him as being crazed that day. The defense is unlikely to put Richard Shankman on the stand, but they are expected to show jurors a tape-recorded interview with a psychiatrist. Reporting on the scene in Hartford, I'm Erin Cox, News 8.